Moving on, the three Jharkhand Congress MLAs detained with 49 lakh rupees in cash have been arrested now. Ifan Ansari, Rajesh Kachap and Naman Vixil Kongari along with a driver and a associate of the MLAs have been sent to 10-day custody. All five have been booked for charges including criminal conspiracy and the Prevention of Corruption Act with the CID now taking over the investigation. Finding itself in a tough spot after cash recovery, Congress today suspended all the three MLAs and one of its other Jharkhand MLAs, Kumar Jay Mangal, also filed an FIR against them. He alleged that the BJP was trying to topple Congress Congress's coalition government in Jharkhand with the help of these MLAs and that each MLA was allegedly being offered 10 crore rupees in cash and a ministerial berth if the BJP forms government in the state. While the complaint names Assam Chief Minister as the key man behind uh, the entire operation, Himanta made little of the allegations. And this is a big deal of the Congress. The Congress is a big deal of the Congress. I can say that I can say that I can वो सब भी मुझको मेरा साथ संपर्क में रहता है कोई पॉलिटिक्स का बात नहीं करता है लेकिन जब 22 साल एक व्यक्ति एक पार्टी में रहता है संपर्क तो रहता है तो इसके लिए कोई एक केस हो कोई एक एफ दर्ज करे पता नहीं है कांग्रेस का क्या हो क्या हो चुका है देखिए आज एक साल से मुझे लगता है ये सुनने को मिलता है कि सरकार को अनस्टेबल करने की दिशा में विपक्ष के लोग लगे हुए हैं क्योंकि वो पचा नहीं पाते हैं माननीय हेमंत सोरेन जी की सरकार युवा मुख्यमंत्री एक आदिवासी युवा मुख्यमंत्री और उसके बाद राजनीतिक रूप से झारखंड कहीं से भी लगता नहीं है विपक्षियों को कि वो झारखंड पर काबिज हो पाएंगे झारखंड के सत्ता पर तो धन बल के आधार पर ये कोशिश करते आए हैं और यहाँ भी कोशिश कर रहे हैं तो जहाँ ये राजनीतिक रूप से कमज़ोर है वहाँ कोशिशें होती हैं प्रयास होता है तो ऑपरेशन लोटस की जो जिक्र केंद्रीय नेता ने किया है गलत नहीं किया है मुझे लगता है कि झारखंड को अगला निशाना इन लोगों ने बनाया है कैश लेकर चलते हैं कांग्रेस के नेता नोट गिनने के लिए मशीन मंगानी पड़ती है ये क्या हो गया है कांग्रेसियों को इस तरह से पैसे किया खुला लेन देन और वो भी विधायक होकर अजय पकड़े जा रहे हैं तो वो अलग अलग तरह का इल्ज़ाम लगा रहे हैं आखिर बताइए ये नोट कहाँ से आया वो तो अब इस तरह का आरोप प्रत्यारोप करेंगे जवाब दीजिए कि ये पैसा कहाँ से आया इतना कैश लेकर कांग्रेसी क्यों चलते हैं कांग्रेसी और पैसे का रिश्ता क्या है well, the BJP has uh, rubbished the allegations claiming that the Congress was defaming it to hide corruption within the party and that this incident is just a proof of the extent of corruption in Sorin Sarkar. The purpose of a visit was a uh, little suspicious and uh, was, uh, to conspire against the stability of the government. The way ruling party at the center or in any of the state used to behave. And if you keep on pressurizing somebody by using the uh, constitutional uh, authorities, bodies, and uh, some, uh, you lure them with uh, some uh, other uh, benefits and positions by giving them an um, uh, some assurance of decorating with some ministerial post or some other work. लोगों ने क्या मन लगा लिया कि इस आवेदन माने सरकार गिराने के लिए है अमाउंट ले जा रहा था तो क्या 16 लाख रुपया में एक विधायक 16 लाख रुपया में बिकेगा क्या ये 16 लाख रुपया में जो है विधायक बिक जाएगा 16 लाख रुपया जो है सो विधायक को पास नहीं है विधायक का और कारबार नहीं है कहीं से नहीं ले सकता है अपने दोस्त से जरूर ले सकता है कि भाई आठ तारीख को आदिवासी दिवस है थोड़ा पैंची दे दो देखिए बीजेपी को कहीं पे सरकार गिराने के लिए कैश ट्रांसफर करने की जरूरत नहीं होता है वहाँ पे जो कंसर्न स्टेट गवर्नमेंट और स्टेट स्टेट का जो सरकार है वो इतना सारा करप्शन ऑलरेडी कर चुके है हमारे पास मतलब इतना सारा प्रमाण और प्रूफ इतना सारा ऑलरेडी हमारे लाइक हमारे हाथ में है कि उसके लिए अलग से कैश ट्रांसफर करने की जरूरत नहीं है वो सरकार गिराने के लिए करप्शन का जो भी प्रमाण हमारे पास है वो काफी है तो कांग्रेस तो कुछ अपने डिफेंस में कुछ ना कुछ तो बोलेंगे क्योंकि कांग्रेस का तो एग्जिस्टेंस ही अभी एक बहुत बड़ा क्वेश्चन मार्क है 
All right, so the Congress and the BJP both leveling serious allegations against each other. The Congress party has alleged that uh, it in fact is the Chief Minister of Assam, Mr. Himanta Biswa Sharma, who offered 10 crore rupees in cash to these three Congress MLAs because the BJP is attempting to topple the Soren Sarkar in Jharkhand. On the other hand, the BJP says, stop blaming us for corruption in your party. The BJP has rubbished all the allegations being leveled by the Congress party against uh, the BJP. And their uh, argument is that the Congress is only trying to save face by putting the onus on BJP. Uh, the Congress party is only trying to hide corruption. Remember, the Congress party has taken action against the MLAs. A FIR also has been filed by one of the congressmen against the three MLAs after they were arrested and have alleged that BJP is trying to topple the Sorian Sarkar for quite some time now in Jharkhand. Allegations and counter allegations are intensifying in Jharkhand. Three Congress MLAs have been detained now with 49 lakh rupees in cash. They, they were earlier detained, I beg your pardon, they have now been arrested. Irfan Ansari, Rajesh Kachap and Naman Bixal Kongari have had to face legal action. Let's go across Mr. Tom Varakan, spokesperson of the BJP joining us. Good evening. Thank you very much, Mr. Varakan, for giving us your time. The Congress party has alleged that these individuals were offered money by the BJP because uh, the BJP wants to implement Operation Kamla in Jharkhand as well and topple the government. That's the allegation against your party. Swati, it's very interesting if you look at the timeline. Interestingly, it was TMC that reacted first and said, well, this is an Operation Kamal operation and that they knew everything about it and that this was meant for destabilizing the government in Jharkhand. I mean, very interesting, isn't it? And minutes later, you get this, uh, uh, there's a press conference held by the Congress party and uh, they pass the buck. But from what you could hear from Mr. Pandey speaking at the press conference, there were no concrete evidences to establish any link whatsoever. We all know that the Jharkhand issue is, is, the corruption issues is rampant there. These are partners in business. Three of them were traveling. They were caught with some money and in Bengal. And how does the BJP come into it? Where did they get the money? Was it from the TMC? Because they have lots of money, you know. Uh, almost, uh, what, 80 crores or what has been caught there. And some of the cars are missing. Where does this money come from is a matter of investigation. And especially because it happened in Bengal. And how did the TMC government come to the conclusion that this has something to do with the BJP? and uh, destabilizing the Jharkhand government. I mean, it's quite surprising. interesting because the allegation is that the chief minister of uh, Assam, Mr. Himanta Biswa Sharma, offered money to these individuals. And, uh, you know, I want to go across to our other guest. We have Lokesh Jindal, political analyst, joining us as well. Lokesh Jindal, the BJP has hit back at the Congress and says this is just a face-saving exercise, face-saving tactic. Uh, the Congress party is only trying to hide the extent of corruption in Congress. And that's the reason why they are alleging that it was the BJP that was attempting to topple the government. <laughs> the entire incident is very clear. In fact, if we look into the manner in which BJP has been functioning, be it Maharashtra recently and now Jharkhand, we see that the only way left with the BJP has been to indulge into horse trading, offering all forms of cash, incentives, because they are at the center. And in Jharkhand, it was nothing but the same story that was being repeated. Now, these three MLAs who were caught with such huge stack of money were nothing. If, if, if a thorough investigation is undertaken, we will see that the money was indeed was a bribe so that these MLAs, again, they can destabilize the Jharkhand yeah, the money, government. The money has been recovered. It, it has been caught on camera. But where is the evidence or proof of the BJP offering them that money, the BJP influencing these MLAs? Is this... Is this based on some sort of an evidence that the Congress party has of the BJP's interference? See, uh, in fact, there is no proof of, for the other side of the story as well. But we need, it to, we need to look into the precedences that have been happening. What happened in Maharashtra was of a similar tune. But then, Mr. Jindal, why suspend the them? If there is no proof of the other side of the story as well, then why suspend them? In fact, one of the Congress uh, members no, have filed an FR against them. It's a disciplinary action undertaken for, against the three MLAs in Jharkhand. And uh, I would still appeal that there should be a thorough investigation, an impartial investigation undertaken 
so as to see where did this all this money come from and what was the intention so as to lure these mlas with so much of money the point is the aicc general secretary mr avinash pandey has rightly pointed out in the press conference that there was a chief minister of a state who had been trying to reach out to the mlas in jharkhand moreover there has been attempts constantly so as to lure the mlas in jharkhand and okay. destabilize the jharkhand okay. government so so let's go across to mr vadakkan mr vadakkan lokesh jindal believes this this money does not mean corruption this is part of the bribe offer and for a bribe there must be somebody who is giving the money there must be evidence for this what nonsense is this a, a, a car has been caught in west bengal and then the charge is they are carrying money for god knows where this money has come from whether they are carrying congress congress party's money and suddenly because they have caught they pass the buck now the whole exercise is so intriguing and the chief minister is blamed for 25 years you have been a, a person in the congress party i have been a member of the congress party many of the congressmen come to me and tell me well how is it there in the bjp can we join at some time now this is a kind of interaction that happens so to say that well we pay money no they come on their own oh, it, it is very surprising on maharashtra what has happened shiv sena felt ncp and congress was making money the main cause for the Uh, the rebellion of the shiv sena has nothing to do with the bjp but it's an internal strike of the shiv sena and trying to pass the busk on the on the bjp is extraordinary because we yes we, we i mean we will follow the democratic processes that follow but if shiv sena decides to split and reason is the congress party the corruption of the congress party the ncp that is the charge these rebels have made so how are we blaming for this a car has been caught in bengal and bengal chief minister realizes that well jharkhand is in trouble for god sake your own government is in trouble because the people of bengal have woken up so you get an alarm call, call from bengal and the and the congress reacts suspends its mlas that's not our problem but the reality is Hmm. They have been caught with the money, and okay. this is about corruption of the Congress okay, Party. Okay, BJP says this is about corruption. Congress Party says this is part of the bribe offered to influence them and topple the government. Thank you very much, Mr. Vadakkan and Lokesh Jindal, for joining us on the broadcast. That's all that I have. Quick break with that.